Well, hello, family. Okay, I'm here once again so that I can elaborate more on the last video, okay? The last video I did, and I'm going to stress it, it's time to do some killing magic, okay? Call it whatever color you want to call it. You can call it what black magic, whatever. You can say it don't have a color on it, but for the purposes for people who would not know what I was talking about unless I stressed the name of it, I'm going to call it Black Magic, okay? That's for purposes of labeling it so that other people who don't know nothing but the names white, black, and gray, they can understand where I'm coming from, okay? So that's why I'm talking about Black Magic right now, okay? Look, check this out, y'all. We got a problem right now. Family, we got a problem right now, okay? We are defenseless. And I'm going to tell you why we're defenseless. Because there are churches on every single corner of every last one of our communities. And it has stripped away all of our defenses. You must have defenses in order to keep and maintain whatever you have. If not, it will be taken away from you, okay? Look, I, I, the reason why I'm stressing this is because I am tired, okay? Now, I know my family tired too. I know y'all just as tired as I am. I have had enough with this giving and you can receive. Y'all gonna give everything y'all got. Y'all ain't gonna have nothing. Let me tell you something. That is what they teach you so they can take everything you own from you. Now, if you don't see that everything you get your hands on, somebody don't come along there and take it, snatch it out your hand, then come on. I don't know where you living at. I am tired of people taking everything from me. I be damned if I continue to allow these people using their techniques of the Bible to continue to rob me, okay? Now let's talk about the church. The church ain't doing nothing it was ever set up to do in the first place. What I mean about that, if the church was gonna really serve us, it will serve our communities and anything that serve our communities serve us too. You go in there right now and ask them to help you pay a gas bill or a light bill or a water bill and see what you get. You might get something one time but they ain't gonna let you forget it okay but i tell you what they'll pass that plate around in your face two or three times within a service that's a little bit too much look i'm not giving anybody my money so don't even ask okay i have no sympathy for the churches and i i would if i could do magic i would close every door yes i said it i would close every single door and i'm gonna tell you why you understand what i'm saying so won't nobody go around and say, oh, it's, oh, she's done lost it now. Oh, uh, no, no, uh-uh. My family understands we are sick and tired of people using the Bible, Jesus Christ, and all of these other made-up entities to control us. Because, look, I'm telling you right now, and you can unsubscribe right now if you want to. I don't mind, okay? Because all this is about is to get the message across. Look, Jesus is a fairy tale. The Jesus that they created to you for you is a fairy tale to just drain you of every dollar you got and get your money so you can feel sympathy for him because he hung on the cross. Look, if anything, they're hanging you on the cross, okay? Now, uh, 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 the Jesus thing used to work, but it don't work no more. I call when I'm calling on his name, don't nothing happen. Don't nothing happen good for me. Nothing. I'm insane circumstances that I was in from the from the get-go. Why would I go to church? I come out of there broke just like I went into that dope broke. If I could have my own church and teach y'all to give y'all last dime, I would have plenty of money too and I wouldn't be sitting up here upset and angry. We got to change uh, our thoughts and our minds and our ideology, guys. It's time to change that. There are blood suckers out there. And they're 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 playing on your on your sympathy. They're playing on your minds to 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 give to give to give to you can't give. And y'all guys, that's not you gotta be selfish. 
Now, somebody sit up and wrote me something and told me, uh, but mama, check this out. Karma. Well, then, if, 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 look, everybody, every country I see has a defense system. They have a, what you call an armed force. They, whether it be the Army, the Marine, the UN, the United Nations, they have a defense system set in place. What's your defense system? What's your defense system? You don't have one. Now, I, I would probably sit down and entertain that uh, uh, on, on karma stuff if, if my government didn't have a defense system. Ask the government why they got a defense system. Well, they're going to tell you we got to uh, have a defense system just in case we have terrorists that's going to attack us. We need a defense system so we won't be invaded. So uh, even your body got a defense system. You got an immune system to fight any foreign invaders that come with inside of your body. So why you don't have a defense system set up for your spirit? You gotta have one, guys. Y'all gotta stop going around here living in this fairy tale world that, uh, you know, maybe if, 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 if I just love them to death, they'll leave me alone. I will love them to death. You can't love nobody to death. If somebody fight, you gotta fight back. You gotta fight for what you want. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. They gonna take whatever you got. You can't be a sheep amongst wolves you're gonna have to be a wolf yourself it's time out for miss nice woman and miss nice guy um, enough is enough i'm i'm not being nice <laughs> it's you, you just can't be nice no more you, you better have some fight in you it's time to have a little bit of anger anger can be very healthy sometimes not too much of it too much anger is very unhealthy too much hostility is, is, is unhealthy. But you can have a bit of hostility if somebody's trying to come along and take what you got. Trying to use, psych you out for what you got. The church is only psyching you out for what you got. And all the pastor is, is a pulpit, pulpit pimp. Now this is old stuff for a lot of you. A lot of you already know what's going on. This is just old. You might not want to hear it. But I'm really talking right now to my outsiders some who are just coming to the channel because a lot of you all are searching for something that makes more sense because the old way ain't making no sense no more it ain't it ain't making no more sense uh uh, uh it ain't making no more sense and, uh, and i'm not trying to persuade people to believe and think my way but i will ask you one more time have your circumstances changed for the good since you've been going to church do you see yourself with more wealth since you've been going to the church? When you call on the name of Jesus, is he changing your circumstances for you? Or are you still scrounging and scraping? If you still doing that, guy, it's time to do something different. And I'm not talking to my family. I'm just talking about these outsiders that are searching for something that makes more sense. It's time for us to be selfish, uh, 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 make them put the cans up, taking up money, make them put them up. Cause half of the, when you see these commercials on TV showing you these dogs and sad dogs and stuff and asking you for your money, don't give it to them. Don't give your money to those people. That very money is used and being funded to make sure that your demise is coming pretty soon. Because soon they're going to round you up. They're going to round every last one of us. That's why I say it's time to do some killing magic. Okay? And for my family, they understand what I'm talking about when I say killing magic. Killing magic is defense. You setting up a defense to protect yourself from those who want to see you dead. There are some entities, once again, that are looking to... Uh, 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 celebrate our demise and we can't let them have it that easy they might take some of us but damn sure they ain't gonna get, them, get us all it's time now it's time it's to find time to put your own defense uh, uh, system up to protect yourself and to protect your family and that's what's so beautiful about magic it's time to talk to the spirits they're trying to speak through you to you all through all means of communication through uh, electronics 
not all of you all, but some of you all, but eventually this going to affect us all. Communication uh, through electronics, you're going to start seeing stuff on TV and you're going to be questioning, what is this? You're going to start hearing things on the radio. You're going to question, what is this? I mean, they're going to start speaking to you through the electronics now because it's time. Enough is enough. Y'all done gave up everything y'all got. Is that the Spirit's trying to help you get it back. Don't you want your stuff back? If you want your stuff back, please, y'all, pay attention to the spirits. They're speaking to us. And then, and like I told you about these entities, these shadow governments, these, these entities that you cannot find. They're spraying your skies. They're trying to poison you with your food and your water. Watch the skies. Look at what color they is. They don't even need the right color no more. The sky was red today. The sky was red. Later on in the evening, that's some type of poisonous radiation or some kind of poisonous gas. That is not for you to sit up and say, oh, how beautiful, what a beautiful landscape it is today. They hide the sun. I know y'all saying, how can we fight these entities? Let's concentrate on the sun. That's your friend. The sun is all of our friends. I don't care what color you are. The sun is your friend. You're created from the sun warmth love nurturing all comes from the sun that's your daddy some people say it's your mom whoever you want to say it is you can't live without the sunlight so that that's what i'm saying they're trying to shade it out in white because they know you can't live without it and they want to take your place and live here without you here and create this into this great landscape that they can live and enjoy and it's damn not going to happen because there are higher divine spirits that's not going to have it. And if you all would just pay attention to the spirits, they're going to speak to you, okay? Concentrate on the sun. That's our defense. Every time the sun comes out, y'all notice that it just parts all of those old clouds and those nasty gases and stuff like that. And you feel a little bit better. You don't, you're not sluggish. You don't sleep as long. You can think. You can become a critical thinker. Right now, if you don't do anything else, concentrate on the sun. Be critical thinkers. Be selfish. Everything you got, put it aside for yourself. Every coin that you have, take your coins. Put your coins somewhere where you can find them in a safe place. Hide your coins, guys. Paper money ain't going to be no good. Okay? Y'all better listen to Hoodoo Mama talking to y'all. Paper money is going to be worthless and y'all going to think about what Big Mama saying one day. Y'all going to be saying, I wish I had a sat down and listened to that big old ugly, big old face black woman when she was talking. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about because the ancestors and the spirits are speaking to me. I'm speaking from the blood of my great, 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 great granddad and grandmama. All of them. And they trying to talk to y'all too, y'all. Our ancestors is trying to talk to y'all. And tell y'all, because they seen these kind of times come. They seen it. Put the canned goods up. Buy every canned goods you get on your, uh, that you can get your hands on. Go to some of these cheap places and grab the, the, the two, four dollar canned goods. Sit them in a corner somewhere in a dog place. Keep them. Every time you got a coin, I want you to put a drop of coin in a ball. Keep your coins. Your coins are more valuable than them, that paper money they giving y'all. That monopoly money they giving you. That they change. A lot of y'all might not know it, but that, that paper money ain't even the same money. It's new money. See, the new money represents a brand new government. Y'all don't even know that. Okay, so um, I got more to talk to you about, but what I want you all to concentrate on right now, family, is the sun. I want you to imagine bathing in the sun on a daily basis. Bring the sun back out. The sun is going to purify and clean those poisonous gases up. Trust me. Everybody put a, a bowl of vinegar at your front door. And I'm going to get into that further. Uh, 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 because anyway, that, that it helps to, to break down those poisonous gases. Vinegar and, uh, and, and, and the most powerfulest breakdown of those poisonous gases is the sun. And I'm telling you, your minds are very powerful. Creative consciousness is very powerful. I'm running out of time here now because I'm down to 1434 right now. That's very powerful. 
The church can't think for you. You got to think for yourself, y'all. The church ain't working for hell with the churches, okay? Yes, Big Mama said it, okay? So I'm going to have to end right now on this note, and I will be back in a bit, okay, to go 